How can a player who was deemed to be the Premier League's next superstar and the future of England, with journalists and pundits singing his praises all over the world, go to being booed off by his own fans whilst playing for Besiktas, as well as being banished from the squad? This is the sad story of Deli Ali's footballing career. Ali started his career at MK Dons where he made his debut at just 16 years old playing as a second striker and went on to become a regular starter for the Dons and began to make a name for himself in League One. He attracted interest from many top Premier League sides including Liverpool and Spurs. Spurs then ended up signing him in 2015 for a fee of 5 million during the Pochettino era. After signing for Spurs, Ali immediately settled in and took no time adjusting to top flight English football where he really started to take off. In his debut season, Ali won PFA Young Player of the Year and was awarded Goal of the Year for his stunning goal against Crystal Palace, which I'm sure many of you remember. In his first season, Ali got 10 goals and 9 assists in 33 appearances. In his 16-17 season, Ali won the PFA Young Player of the Year again and got 18 goals and 9 assists in 37 games. At this point, Ali's flying and became a key part of Tottenham's squad as well as England's squad. But then, Fortnite came along. I'm joking, but he did sign for a new sports team. Anyway, Ali started to become inconsistent and his form started to decline, leaving Spurs fans frustrated. But why is this? Well, Ali suffered injuries with one hamstring injury in particular which kept him out for the majority of the 1890 season, as well as having various other injuries such as a broken hand and just other. He was in hospital a lot, or was it the squad around him? As a second striker, Ali thrived off other players and Tottenham aren't known to invest as much as other clubs. Sooner or later, Players began to leave who were key to Tottenham's squad, as well as Pochettino himself, leaving Mourinho as the new manager. Or was it Ali's mentality and behaviour, which could be an argument for his decline, with managers like Mourinho calling Ali out for being lazy, which we saw in the Spurs All or Nothing documentary. Or was Ali just genuinely distracted off the pitch, or was it just a lack of confidence? As we all know, players thrive off confidence. After this, Ali wasn't the same player and in 2022 moved to Everton under Frank Lampard for a, what looked like a new start. However, he only started one game for the Toffees and didn't impress or show any glimpses of his, of his former self. But to be fair, in my opinion, he wasn't really given a chance. Ali then went on loan to Besiktas where he still is today in an attempt to rejuvenate his career, but didn't show any signs of improvement. I was even booed off by his own fans after being subbed after 29 minutes in a game they lost to second division side San... San Lu I don't even want to say that. But it doesn't stop there. Just recently, Ali has now been banished from the Vashikta squad with no intention to give him any more game time. To be honest, it's sad to see such a talented player go from the top of the world to being booed off by his own fans. And to be honest, I'm still confused how it all happened. What do you guys think? Is Ali a victim of his own downfall? Is it injuries, managers, or just laziness, or Fortnite? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy, why not hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications for more. Thanks for watching. This has been Discussing Ball.